Hi everybody, Dr. Jason W. Morrison. I've just found this story. Many of you are probably aware of it already, but I'm in Australia, so I'm a little bit behind um, with the American stuff. But I've just come across this story, and it reminds me of Marcus Vaughan, the ex buffalite who was saying that there's so many angry people that he wouldn't be surprised if um, you started to see these kingdom halls being burnt down. Now, I know this isn't the first one that this has happened to, but have a look at this story from Olympia, the USA, and um, this is just the result of where this organization is heading. Kingdom Hall of Jehovah's Witnesses. The fire started on Cane Road three hours ago, and Cairo 7 confirmed in the last 30 minutes it is considered suspicious. And Cairo 7's Michael Spears is there gathering information. And Michael, this is the second time this place of worship has been damaged by a fire this year. That's right, Petronia, in three and a half months, in fact, and that's why firefighters, part of the reason why they consider this suspicious. In the last 10 minutes, we confirm what is pretty apparent by looking at this place of worship. This is a total loss. The Kingdom Hall of Jehovah's Witnesses on Cain um, in Olympia. Do you want to show you a picture of what firefighters were up against when they first arrived just after 3 a.m. this morning? They want to talk about Armageddon. There you go. That's what happens when you're not accountable. They've made a lot of people angry. Really, the attention turns to the investigation. We've seen not only police on scene talking with fire investigators, but those fire investigators already have uh, their cameras out uh, to take pictures and begin that part of this. So I do want to show you some surveillance video from three and a half months ago. And this is what Petrania mentioned. This is the second fire here. And three and a half months ago, we got the alleged arsonist on camera. Police released this. and we There he is. Look. So That's deliberate. Right now attention turns and the question is whether or not this could be connected to the same potential arsonist from three and a half months ago and a question that we will be working this morning to, to talk to Olympia police about. So here live again, firefighters just watching for hot spots at this point. We do know 22nd Avenue Southeast just to my left down there is shut down. Uh, may affect some morning commuters in this area as they turn their attention to what caused this fire. And as soon as we get an update, we'll bring it to you live. For now, we're live in Olympia. Michael Spears, Cairo 7 News. Obviously, this person's had their nose out of joint with the organization. And he, if it's the same person or same group of people, they haven't got this place the first time. Now, I'm just going to do a little bit of research and see if I can find out anything about the area, and then I'll come back. Just in the meantime, while I've been researching, I've found this, um, a story written on the 17th of May 2018 that you may not know about. Multiple rounds fired at Kingdom Hall of Jehovah Witnesses in Yelm. Now, I don't know where that is, somewhere over there, but multiple rounds were fired at the Kingdom Hall of Jehovah Witnesses in Yelm early Thursday, according to Thurston County Sheriff Office. There was no one inside the Yelm location at whatever the address was when the incident occurred and no injuries were reported. As of Wednesday, there was no known suspect. We have no leads at this time and are asking for people to help, said Sergeant Carla Carter. Although no one was injured, the building sustained significant damage, Carter said. She estimated the damage to windows and doors and the structure at more than $10,000. Now again, this is an aggravated assault. The Jehovah Witnesses organization and the people in it are aggravating to the people to the point where they're striking back. And wouldn't you agree, this is another classic example of that. Now I just want to share a story about from the Bible about how things can come back to bite you. Now, can you remember the story of Joseph? He was a young boy. They threw him in a ditch. They went back and told his father that he had been killed, possibly eaten by animals. I can't remember exactly. And they left him for dead. Anyway, he ended up in Pharaoh's house. Now, there's been many years passed, and the brothers have been reunited with Joseph. And this is where we're up to. When Joseph's brother saw that their father was dead, they said, Perhaps Joseph will hate us and may actually repay us for all the evil which we did to him. Perhaps Joseph will hate us and may actually repay us for all the evil that we did to him. Now, there is this part of man where some people are more blessed than others. Some people are more tolerant than others. And in the case of this fire, where this and other events like this, people have had enough. They haven't got the tolerance to put up with it anymore. And this happens especially when there's no accountability. 
Now, this is what Joseph said. So they sent messages to Joseph saying, Before your father died, he commanded saying, Thus you shall say to Joseph, I beg you, please forgive the trespasses of your brothers and their sin, for they did evil to you. Now please forgive the trespass of the servants of the God your, of your father. And Joseph went, and they spoke to him. Now the brothers also went and fell down before his face, and they said, Behold, we are your servants. Now this is my point, please listeners, and I hope you're still with me. Whilst the brothers did wrong, and they'd been caught out, they humbled themselves. They bowed down and said, please forgive us. Forgive us our trespasses. The problem with the Watchtower Society and the governing body is they are not relenting in their deception and their lies and their evil. They're not relenting. They're not coming to that place where they're coming to their senses and they're saying we've been caught in a lie. The whole thing's been a lie and we need to stop it or we need to confess it and change it. They are being persistent in their sin and in their deceptions and their lies. And if you're a Jehovah Witness, you're actually an accomplice. Now, we don't know the reason why that building got burnt down or the other buildings or the rest of it. But what we do know is a lot of people are being harmed and maimed and deceived and upset and frustrated and infuriated because of the lies and deceptions and the policies within inside that organization. So here, I want to read this again. When Joseph's brother saw that their father was dead, that basically was their protection, they said, perhaps Joseph will hate us and may actually repay us for all the evil which we did to him. Now the evil coming out of that place is causing people to run out of tolerance and they're giving in and they're cracking up and as we saw, they're retaliating. But the Watchtower Society and Track Society is relentless because they're not having this attitude. I beg you, please forgive the trespasses of your brothers and their sin, for they did evil to you. Now please forgive the trespasses of the servants of the God of your father. And Joseph went and spoke to them because they asked him for forgiveness. Then his brothers also went and fell down before his face, and they said, Behold, we are your servants. And Joseph said, Do not be afraid, for I am in the place of God. But as for you, you meant evil against me, but God meant it for good. Now good came out of it for Joseph, and possibly good's come out of it for many others, but that's not the point. What I'm trying to say is, different people have different levels of tolerance before they give in. And unfortunately, in this case, this person's given in. There's a lot, there's thousands upon thousands of angry people confronting the Watchtower Society, but they're not giving in to their relentless lies and deceit. So, this is Dr. Jason W. Morrison, theologist, just trying to share with you some realities about the Watchtower Society. It's, it is really a harmful and destructive organization. And I do not justify the buildings being burnt down and the people getting, you know, whatever happens to them. But I do warn, it's not the sort of organization that you want to be mixed up in. Because if you are, you're just an accomplice to their lies and their deceit. And you're encouraging others to be mixed up in it, which will cause harm. See you in the next talk. Bye for now. Yeah, Dr. Jason Morrison, Theologist again. I just want to say thank you for watching the videos and I uh, hope you got plenty of uh, self-rediscovery and freedom out of it. If you watched it on YouTube, please share or like. Um, maybe even comment. If you watch it on Facebook, like, comment, share. Um, but most of all, get out and live. This isn't a rehearsal. You've got a one-off life. Don't let your loyalty and your faithfulness blind you to the life that you should be experiencing. Till the next video, thank you for watching and bye for now.